Keep the shelly belly. Can we take him down? Come on, come on. Oh, living legend. You can take the meter out, this other guy. Oh my god, two for one glass. Holy cow. Living legend. What? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. Today we got one of my favorite setups. This is the Tank Buster, guys. You guys have heard me talking about this, you've seen this on stream, you've seen it in a lot of videos, but you never got the full breakdown. We have the Dread Shell with the Devastator and two Dread Skull. These things are hidden on all cylinders, and to pair up perfectly with it we have the nuclear amplifier anti-control and last stand along with advanced repair here are our skills we have destroyer mechanic armor expert invulnerable raider physical shields expert dodger and foolhardy quartermaster these skills together synergize in such a way and this is what makes it all tick, guys, the drone. So the new big drone on first hit stealth. First time you get hit, you get five seconds of stealth. We have a triangle chip on repair unit damage. We have two of those. So that's 35 each, that's 70 damage. And then we have a square chip on repair defense. You hit the heel, you get 80 defense points along with the shield chip. The Persephone is also beautiful on here. It's the same, but opposite um, as far as the chips go. You have two defense and one offense with the shield chip, and then you have the, the self heal and ally heal of 800 a second. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Oh, here we are on power plant map, cruising and perusing with my baby Hellburner. You know, guys, that I love this little robot. It is so much fun to play so much fun run in here get the detonation straight down the last stand like it's nothing we have our shield activated so we're going to back up on out of there try to get in a safe place so we don't get last standed but these guys are moving in hot i'm moving down using the terrain using that little hill to my advantage cruising left cruising right trying to dodge but there are people everywhere nothing i could do about this guys using a little bit of corner shooting and slick tactics and maneuvering. Trying to work my way into this guy's bubble. He ended up getting last standed. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get him down to his last stand in a quick and efficient manner. That's gonna cause us our death right here, I believe. We're able to get one kill. Could we take him out? Nope, we get killed. And that's why it's so important to be able to dispatch your enemies quickly in these close range brawls. It is essential, guys. And when you're in there brawling, milliseconds matter. So if you miss an opportunity to drop that guy to last stand, you are in trouble. Oh baby, here we are. We're on a triple kill already with the tank buster build. This is bonkers. We got a lot of enemies pushing in. We got a tank in front of us right now. We got, oh, we're on a godlike. Trying to see who's where. Okay, we got this friend right here. Let's push on in and show you guys why this is called the tank buster. Usually, it would take a decent amount of time to get this Fenrir down. He got down very, very quickly. The beautiful thing about this is beyond godlike. You have the Devastator, which the damage taken by that cannot be healed. Then you have the two Scalds. The benefit of that is the bomb effect bypasses the resistance. So you're able to take, take these tanks down very, very quickly. Living legend. This thing is on a tear right now. And these are strong opponents. These aren't no weakling opponents. Living legend. This thing is amazing. This is a great build. Another living legend. Oh my god. This thing is just going bonkers right now. And look at there's another Fenrir right there. And we're just chipping away at him. Chipping away at him. Chipping away at him. Look at his health keep going down and down and down and down. And there's nothing he could do to stop it. Nothing at all. 
He's a little bit out of range at times, so my Devastators aren't always hitting. I made a mistake here. I should have hit my healing a tad bit earlier. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this kill off. Now, guys, don't forget the rule of fighting a tank. If you do 99.5% damage to that thing, it's more than likely your teammate's going to take him out. Boom. What did I just say? We took that guy down ourselves. No problem at all. Ooh. And we're going to drop this bad mamma jamma. Here's a little sneak peek at a build you're going to be seeing in another video. This is the new Nodens with the Kristen weapons. These things are kind of crazy, guys, and they suit this Titan very well. Now you can heal from 700 meters. You don't have the speed you used to. You lost 15% speed with the nerf of the Nodens. So you can't move as quickly as you used to. And squad boosters are no longer a factor. So there's that as well. With these, you can stay at a safe distance. If anybody pushes within 500 meters, you can hit them with these rockets. Boom, Titan Slayer. Very nice. They look so cool. Swiveling and flying through the air. Nice, nice. Another Titan Slayer. The one thing I noticed with running these new Titan weapons, and if the same applies for Nodens, Miramets, Sharanga, Arthur, whatever you have on them, regular robots are going to be the most dangerous to you. Because you can't fight them effectively within close range. It looked like that one didn't connect for some reason. I think somebody face exiled him. I bet you my teammate's screaming and hollering at me <laughs> to get out of his way. I know he's trying to push up because he has those retaliators. Um, I'm in no urgent, urgent uh, position to move right now because I don't need to have a clean line of sight. Okay, looking for our next target. Oh my god, you guys can't tell me those weapons don't look so cool as they fly through the air swirling like that. So, so cool. Ooh, what's this back here? What's this big juicy target? I'm trying to wiggle my head back and forth. Oh, man, we couldn't get the kill. I was trying to wiggle my head back and forth to get the, my target on my ally to heal him, but it would just never attach to him. Uh, Pixonic, if you're listening, we'd love to see um, a targeting system for friendlies. That would be amazing. Sometimes it's really hard or impossible to link onto the friendly you want to be able to heal them. Okay, there is the scoreboard for this game. 13 kills, 6.5 million damage. Um, now we're going to swing into some highlight clips here. These are some clips from the live stream. This thing is just so good and so fun. It does so well. In so many scenarios and with the new nuclear amplifier on there it's even better okay let's see if we take this leech out now all right let's see if we can go finish off this arturo arturo's in the house boom 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 boom, boom. titan slayer we got him we got him Oh, there's another Arthur. You think there's any way we can take him down too? I don't know. We'll try. We'll, we're certainly going to try. Doing a little bit of corner shooting here. Using my teammate as cover. I got greedy trying to push up, but it is what it is. Oh, look at this. Fenrir action. Let's see how fast we can take this Mamma Jamma down. Last standard already like it's nothing let's see if we can get this hawk as he's landing boom get the kill switch back onto our primary target and finish the deal that guy it was like nothing searching around trying to figure out who my next target is to be they're mad they're coming at me they got hawks they got everything they got titans they want me out of here Ooh, there's another arthur 
Let's see if we could take him out of here. I'm just chipping away, chipping away. Had we not had this Ming blasting at us, um, we would have been a lot better off. But this is just showcasing how tanky this thing is. This is a tank buster, but it's also a tank in its own right. When you're running the Persephone drone, you will be extremely tanky. If you're running the Beak drone, you're going to be a little less tanky, but you're going to have 35 more damage. So keep that in mind. Boom! We get the Titan Slayer. Very nice. Okay, running on in here. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, buddy. Get the kill. Sending some love up to these guys, hitting them with the rockets to get that bomb effect activated. Oh my god. Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. That guy got taken out very, very quickly. Okay, now we're going to run up the ramp. Try to get a little different look at the battlefield. To run down and finish this dude off. That was a quick last stand. That's why I didn't shoot yet. I was waiting for his last stand to end and it ended very quickly. Let's see if we can steal this on the way down. Nope. Sending some scald shots down range. Um, and that's why this build is so awesome, too. You can reach out and touch people at 500 meters and do an actually good amount of damage, too, with it. Right. And we got a shell in the Demeter. We're able to take that shell out. Wait for this cloaking unit to wear off on the Demeter. Oh, we got the Nightingale. Godlike. Two for one blast. Love to see it. We're almost dead. Another Fenrir drops in. Uh, we're going to see how much we can take him down. Keep in mind, we were nearly a dead bot, and we took him down over halfway, like in a short, short, short period of time. Oh, look at this death flight. Boom, one Titan. Two Titan, gone. Appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel tremendously. We are on our way to 6K subs. Hope everyone has a great day, and keep coming back.